Kings YouTubers, C King 180 here once more with another edition of the Guns of Rotan, Oklahoma edition. Uh, might as well just keep the Oklahoma edition tagline because it's probably going to be a mainstay since this is my new spot now. So, uh, got another video for y'all. How about that? Um, next video, we're downsizing. So if you remember the last two videos I recently did, they were long guns. Well, we're going a little bit smaller. And when I say smaller, we're talking like pocket size. All right, so this, some of y'all might recognize this. Some of y'all actually might own a couple of these, but this is a Colt model 1903 pocket hammerless. This particular version is chambered in 32 automatic, so not a very, very poppy cartridge by all means. Utilizes an eight round single stack magazine of 32 automatic, okay? The one thing about this particular gun that I'm not a fan of, but I get around it, is it utilizes a heel release, meaning you have to pull that back and then pull your magazine out. Not the most, if you're uh, a proficient way to reload if you're in a uh, shootout situation, which, you know, we don't have to worry about that anymore. So, flip it around here. So this particular gun was designed in 1903 by uh, John Moses Browning, and it was manufactured by, of course, Colt you know, a legacy of a firearms manufacturer. And they call it the pocket hammerless, obviously because there's no exposed hammer, there's an internal hammer that you can't see. And they call it a pocket hammerless because it could easily fit in and out of a pocket without having a hammer spur to snag on anything. Okay, so this gun also features some of the earliest uh, prominent features of the well-known 1911. For example, the grip safety, as well as the, what you think would actually be a slide lock. Now here's the kicker. Now the gun has been unloaded. As you can see there's nothing in it. What's interesting about this is you pull this back and yes, let's do it this way. And it will lock the slide like so. However though, when this gun is empty, this slide does not lock back. The slide will stay forward. All you'll hear is a click. This actually acts as your safety. That locks your, locks your hammer. Doesn't lock the grip safety, but it locks the hammer. So if you're pressing on the grip safety and you try to pull the hammer, it's not gonna go anywhere. This was eventually uh, turned into a slide lock. And the when the 1911 came out, it had, of course had the well-known hammer with the half cock position. So what this is for is this is for A, your safety, but B, it's got just a little bitty nub in there to lock the slide, but also allows for maintenance and disassembly. Now this doesn't disassemble like your standard uh, 1911. There's a little bit more to it, but again, uh, this is a shooting video, not a history video. So again, check out CN Arsenal, hosted by the awesome Othias and the most awesome May. Watch a video about this. It gives a great in-depth history about it, talking like everything from the ground up. But we're a shooting video, so Let's do what we do best. Let's shoot. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to shoot the 1903 Pocket Hammerless. And just to kind of give you an idea of how small this is, I have a 1911 on my hip. So this is the 1911 by comparison to the 1903. A lot smaller, but as you can see, the design is almost the same. So let's get our 1903. Let's get our magazine in. Eight rounds of 32 automatic. Okay. All right, the gun is hot, it's ready to fire, the safety is on until I'm actually ready to shoot. Let me grab my hearing protection once again. Got these 45 automatic bullets, which I know is not exactly the most practical of hearing protection, but I always seem to forget my hearing protection when I go shooting, and I know I shouldn't, so. But these work good, though. All right, let's get to it. is empty. Mag is out. Gun is empty and out of ammunition. So there you have it. The Colt 1903 Pocket Hammerless. Just an absolutely just beautiful gun. Comfortable to hold, comfortable to shoot. 
not terribly powerful, but it's a 32. It was more of like a self-defense gun, self-defense cartridge, and something you keep in your pocket to protect yourself. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, this particular model was made in 1920, and the original model was made in 1903. And these went on to just past World War II. And there was another variant introduced in 1908 that was chambered in 380. And like I said, they just were popular. They're actually very popular today and I see them everywhere. And I was happy to finally get a hold of one. And I absolutely just adore this pistol. It is a great EDC and just an all around good carry gun. Again, 32, not a hoppy cartridge, but if you're just needing something for personal protection, this is a great gun. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share if you must, and I'll see you soon.